fast beam reach brought us from Dominica to Guadeloupe, or more specifically the small island of Murray Glant to the south. So today is my birthday, so we are taking a little scooter ride around the French countryside for Murray Glant. Um, but our scooter was only $25. There's supposed to be a bunch of windmills around, old windmills, so we're going to try to find those and maybe go to the beach to see what there is to do. In only a few hours, we were satisfied with the number of windmills we'd found and admired, having traversed almost every road on the island. So we returned the scooter and went out for the most amazing dinner of our trip in the courtyard of Maria Galanda. The next day, we woke up for a slightly less glamorous meal before heading to the sink. So I realized this morning that our whole bag of bread was turning moldy, and we're in kind of a tight budget, so I'm cutting off the moldy bits and making french toast with it anyway, so. Uh, it's a little green and blue, but uh, it's kind of gross. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't kill us. <laughs> Are you getting a good workout? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one's actually not bad. That one's pretty easy. This one takes some muscle. Ooh. We knew the weather was going to be rough for a week or more, and since we'd already spent a couple nights in the Saints, we decided we'd rather be stuck on the mainland of Guadeloupe. As the center of industry on the island, Punta Petra doesn't have much to offer in the way of scenic anchorages, but it would provide protection from the wind and swell. We guessed correctly that it would also make a good home base where we could easily rent a car to go surfing, and perhaps do some sightseeing along the way.
aside from surfing, our other motivation for renting a car was so that we could hike the Soufriere volcano in the southwest corner of Guadeloupe. Several cruisers told us that this was their favorite hike, but we seemed to have picked the wrong day to do it and wished we had brought our foul weather gear. But since we'd already made the drive, we figured we might as well hike to the top anyway, just in case the mist cleared by the time we got up there. No such luck. Instead, we encountered the highest winds of our trip. Luckily, it was at the top of this mountain and not while sailing. Still, I was afraid I might get blown into the crater that according to the signs was what we would be looking at if we could actually see anything. Our trip to the Chute du Carbet was much more successful. This is what happens when you get stuck in one place for too long. We're currently paddling down a ditch outside of Puna Pitra, Guadalupe. I just had to see what was here. apartment con complexes, some dried out mud. Someone did come over to tell us that they just made this and it's new so people can enjoy it. We're really enjoying it. With a break in the wind coming, we fueled up and finally left Pointe Petra. After spending the night at Pigeon Island, we arrived in Dehe the following day with only two things we needed to do. The first, try boudin, blood sausage. Which was much better than expected. Push it out of there. Second, find the waterfall we missed on our first hike up the Day River. We must have been feeling more agile and fit this time around because we quickly found ourselves at the cave-like dead end. One of the only changes we really think we need to make to our boat is adding his and her sinks so that in the evenings John and I can get ready for bed together. Yeah, other than that, there's plenty more than enough space in here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful.